Hey guys, we just got into Rabat, which is the capital of Morocco. We only were here for like one night, so we don't want to lose any time, so we got right into the sightseeing. Now over here you've got the Hassan Tower which is basically, it was meant to be a mosque, the greatest mosque in the entire world, but the king who wanted to build it basically died and then they couldn't finish it so it kind of remains unfinished but you kind of see the foundation all around the place here, like I think this was all meant to be part of the mosque. And then over here you see the mausoleum of King Mohammed V. It is day two in Rabat here. We're just doing a little bit more sightseeing before we head out with the bus to Casablanca. Right now we're gonna go to Chella, which is like an ancient monument. Like it used to be, I think it used to be like a fortification by Qatar. And then later the Romans took over and then it was like a Muslim fortress in medieval times. Anyway, that's where we're going now. And later we're gonna try and go into one of the museums here. If you've seen my Quebec video, then you'll know that Quebec City is rebuilding its fortification in preparation for Trump invasion. And as you can see here, the same is happening in Morocco. Everybody is scared. got into Casablanca last night and apparently the one and only reason why I should visit a city is because the Great Mosque is here and that's probably the only mosque in all of Morocco that you can actually go in 
all the other mosques are closed for non-Muslims. And even like the royal palaces, they're kind of closed too. So like this is basically the country where you can't go into anything. <laughs> but anyway, we're heading to the mosque now. We're gonna get our tickets and then we are off to Rick's Cafe, which is kind of modeled after a place that was in the movie Casablanca. Hey guys, we're just coming out of the Great Mosque here in Casablanca. It is the third largest mosque in the whole world. There's two larger ones which are in Saudi Arabia, but this one is the third largest one. It was built from 1987 to 1993. So it only took six years to build it and it's absolutely beautiful inside. Also the outside, it's just really stunning. We just sat down for lunch and we've got a couple more hours and then we're off on the bus to Esuaira. So that's going to be the next video. So I'm going to finish this one here. So make sure you comment, like, subscribe and then I'll see you in my Esuaira vlog.